The Sextus uses several ball bearings. All ball bearings have an initial inertia, but you can keep this to an absolute minimum by applying the following tips. Firstly, the arbor diameter has to be reduced in order for the arbor to move freely in the ball bearing. Here I am using a 180 grit metal sandpaper and sanding so long until the ball bearing has sufficient play. Once you are satisfied, smooth with the 600 grit and polish with steel wool. The ball bearing should now have enough play to allow it to be turned on the arbor as shown. The ideal situation is when the arbor is exactly actual to the ball bearing and with enough play to allow the arbor to be moved back and forth, as can be seen in this cross section. If the ball bearing should not sit correctly in the frame, the arbor can touch the inner cage as shown, causing it to twist. This will increase the inertia of the ball bearing, plus the arbor can no longer move freely. Exactly the same can happen when the front half of the frame slightly sags because of the downwards pull of the drive weight. The inertia increase is obviously very small, but the art of clock building is to make a clock that can be as efficient as possible, and can also compensate for the expansion and contraction of a wooden frame. To true the ball bearings in the frame, Insert the arbor, then circle around to the opposite ball bearing as shown. The ideal is when the circle described by the arbor has its center in the opposite ball bearing middle. This means that the ball bearing is axial to the arbor. If this is not the case, use the leverage of the arbor to twist the ball bearing in the frame until the arbor rotates dead center. Repeat the process for the opposite side. Your arbor should now easily slide back and forth. Preferably, the arbors should tend towards too loose in the ball bearings rather than too tight. When your clock stops for no apparent reason, it is nine times out of 10 friction in the bearings. The reason can be expansion or contraction of the frame or frame sag caused by the drive weight. Check that all arbors can move freely within the ball bearings and if not thin the arbor and or through the ball bearings even if this means taking your clock apart. <laughs>